31st, St. Ignatius Loyola, founder of the Society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuits. Ignatius was born in the year 1491. He was one of 13 children to a family of minor nobility. He was trained to arms and saw some service against the French in northern Castile. But his short military career came to an abrupt end on May 20th, 1521, when, in the defense of Pamplona, a cannonball broke his right shin and tore open his left calf. While recuperating from this wound, he requested books of chivalry. Instead, he received two Catholic books, one entitled The Life of Christ, the other Lives of the Saints. Reading these books started to fill him with zeal for the faith. Though intermittent at first, it became a new way of life for Ignatius. One night, Ignatius saw the Mother of God surrounded with light, holding the infant Jesus in her arms. This vision replenished his soul with delight, and being cured of his wounds, he went on a pilgrimage to the Black Madonna at the shrine of Montserrat. There he renounced his former ways with all its vanities, and dedicated himself to his new master. From this time on, he lived a simple lifestyle, embracing poverty. During this time, he began to take notes for what was to become the Book of Spiritual Exercises. In the year 1523, Ignatius started on his journey to the Holy Land. Begging his way, he took a ship from Barcelona, spent Easter at Rome, and sailed from Venice to Cyprus, and then to Jaffa. He went by donkey thence to Jerusalem with the firm intention of staying there. But he was urged to leave by the Franciscans, who feared that he would be kidnapped and ransomed by the Mohammedans. In the year 1524, once back in Spain, he decided to begin studies for the priesthood. He spent two years in Barcelona, and he studied Latin. After two years studying at Barcelona, he went to the University of Alcala, where he attended lectures in logic, physics, and divinity. He then migrated to Salamanca and continued his studies. But these were the days of strange cults, and Ignatius, being a man without too much learning or authority, was accused by the bishop's vicar general to teaching against the faith. He was imprisoned for 42 days, but in the end, the bishop declared him innocent of any fault. Then, in the year 1528, Ignatius traveled to the renowned University of Paris to study philosophy and theology. He met other students like him, Francis Xavier and Peter Farber, who were captivated by Ignatius's experience of God, his vision of the world, and his adventurous spirit. Over time, those attracted to Ignatius grew. Until the year 1534, Ignatius and six of his followers professed vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, as well as a fourth vow to go wherever the Holy Father would send them for the salvation of souls. The Society of Jesus movement was founded. For the greater glory of God was the motto by which Ignatius and the early Jesuits patterned their lives. In the year 1537, they were ordained priests at Venice. In the year 1540, the Society of Jesus was approved by Pope Paul III, and Ignatius sent Francis Xavier to convert India. Meanwhile, he collected his prayers insights, and suggestions in his book, Spiritual Exercises, throughout his whole life. It became one of the most influential books on the spiritual life ever written. In the year 1548, the spiritual exercises were finally published in Rome with the Pope's approval. In the year 1556, Ignatius died in Rome of a type of malaria called Roman fever. At his death, the society numbered nearly 1,000 men, with houses and colleges stretching from Brazil across Europe and to Japan. In the year 1622, Ignatius was canonized together with Francis Xavier by Pope Gregory XV on March 12th.
ignatius of loyola with his new and dynamic conception of the religious life has left an impression on the church unparalleled in modern times the founder of the society of jesus was a pragmatic idealist who devoted his mature years to revitalizing catholicism and meeting the challenges of the protestant reformation he is the patron of the society of jesus soldiers educators and education